This is a little bigger than I thought it was gonna be, and I'm okay with that. This is the Archeer wireless home stereo speaker. Now the main reason I was interested in this speaker, you will see in just a minute, it is kind of awesome looking. And there's a first peek at the speaker. In case you're curious, the model number on this is the A320. It's available for about 90 bucks over on Amazon right now. Inside the box, you'll get a micro USB charging cable, three and a half millimeter audio cable, apparently a pretty decent sized little carrying pouch, which is some pretty nice material. I mean, that's decent size right there. And of course, there's also a manual in case you need it. There's some specifications, the Archer A320, Bluetooth 4.0. It has two five watt speakers and one 15 watt speaker, your signal to noise ratio, your frequency range. It has a 5,200 milliamp hour built in battery for 11 hours of playback time at 50% volume, charges up in four to five hours and can work within 33 feet, 10 meters, all the button positioning and LEDs and everything. On the back, it shows how to power it on and off, pair things up, playback, aux in, how to charge it up, how to do a full reset just in case. Uh, frequently asked questions and it does come with an 18 month warranty and a 40 day money back guarantee But without any further ado, let's take a look at the speaker itself and this you can immediately see why I thought this thing looked just absolutely amazing According to the Amazon description This is furniture grade bamboo on the front as well as the rear and then rewind fabric covering the rest of it So this is all wood and fabric and just amazing construction There's your 15 watt and your two 5 watt speakers a little reflex hole here on the back on the back You can also see the three and a half millimeter aux plug, the reset hole LED status light, which actually appears to be a battery indicator light, and DC in. And then on the top you've got minus plus, play pause, and power, and what would appear to be another status LED. Like I said, the back one is probably just for power, and this one on top would be for everything else. And I don't normally do this, but I'm doing kind of a sniff test because I can smell it from distance. And it actually smells an awful lot like my old saxophone case. I played saxophone in, in middle school and high school and that's what this smells like. Very reminiscent. But without any further ado, let's go ahead and power this on, pair it up and see what it sounds like. So we'll go ahead and hold the power button for five seconds. Well, it flashed green and now it's flashing blue. I can only assume that means it's in pairing mode. So I'll take my phone, pair it all up. And it appears to have paired up appropriately. So let me get some music playing. We'll see what it sounds like. <laughs> That's got a lot of sound. My phone is turned up just over halfway. The speaker wasn't all the way up. The speaker's now all the way up. Very nice. You may not be able to hear me right now. I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit. It's got a good wide sound stage. Don't know if you can really apply that to a speaker, but it feels like it's everywhere. Of course, that's because it's right in front of me. You can actually feel the bass coming out the back. It's blowing air out the back. Let's see if I can get it to... Is it moving my hair? No, my hair doesn't move. Listen to that. I feel like the guy from Say Anything. John Cusack. I'll have to break it down to this. And just taking a quick look at it while I was listening to it, this little speaker appears to have a tiny bit of a buzz to it, and there's a hiss. I always do tend to mention that hiss. I know every Bluetooth speaker has that hiss to it. This one in particular seems to be emanating mostly from this little teeny speaker. It's almost as if this little speaker has blown or something, or there's some vibration or something, some additional vibration in there. Overall though, good sound, like really good full sound. A lot of sound. And it really thumps and drums from the back. See if you can hear that. Very deep rumbly. That hits hard. blowing the microphone out. So it's at the other end of the house right now, easily at least 30 feet away, still working just fine, still able to be controlled. We'll go ahead and switch the music just so you can hear it. Just change the music. Still playing, still sounds great. 
this is max volume. This is absolutely as loud as it's gonna go. But I can hear it clearly from the next room. And it sounds good from there too. Very, very loud. It's loud in here, and it's at the other end of the house. Let me go ahead and try it with a three and a half millimeter cable, see if that helps or hurts or anything. As soon as I plugged it in, it's got a little hiss to it. Probably just because it's hot waiting for the, the sound. <laughs> But it still sounds good over three and a half millimeter. I don't know if it actually sounds any better. I kind of figured that it would. But just unplugged and switched back to Bluetooth immediately. Didn't have to do anything to it. And the play pause does appear to work. So that's good. And you can use the plus and minus to go forward and back tracks if you just hold them. So that works out pretty well. So yeah, in terms of functionality, this definitely ticks the boxes. Bluetooth and three and a half millimeter gets the job done. Build quality is just absolutely excellent. The only minor flaw I even see in it is this one speaker up here. It may just be my unit, I don't know. It's not that it's bad. It has just a little bit of a buzz to it. And there may just be something in there that's vibrating around it that I can't see. Other than that, absolutely excellent speaker. Up to this point, I've had another one that was my favorite for under $100, but this one is definitely going to give it a run for its money. So I'll put a link to where you can find this down in the video description. Thanks so much to Arch here for sending this out for me to take a look at. Heavy duty, very sturdy, very loud speaker. Absolutely worth the price in my opinion, especially if it'll play for 11 hours at half volume. So make sure to leave a thumbs up down below the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to receive more when they become available. I'm going to continue rocking out with this thing for a little while, and I will see you again next time.